the challenger, Rachel Ellerith. What a night it's been here so far at Opposite Attack. And what a night it continues to be as you watch. Rachel, Rachel Ellery coming to the ring. I, I was going to try to call her the, the daughter of a Hall of Famer, and this is really what this match is about, but it's also not about that. Both women have solidified themselves as individuals in professional wrestling, whether it be Rachel Ellery or the champion Tessa Blanchard. And they've really made names for themselves, and the credibility that these women bring to the ring is, is unlike anything we've ever seen. The women's revolution is absolutely alive, and it's right here in PCW Ultra. No doubt about it. And Ellerine, an absolute powerhouse, a championship power lifter, in fact. Look for a lot of power gain from the challenger in this one. said the champion is absolutely undeniable. Tessa Blanchard made history at May the 4th, defeated Chelsea Green in a classic encounter, making history, becoming the first ever PCW Ultra World Women's Champion, but it doesn't get any easier for Blanchard here tonight. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it, I believe that Tessa Blanchard is the best woman wrestler on the planet and i don't mean to qualify it in that way but just to give different divisions credibility as a lady she is there's nobody better in my opinion she could be one of the best wrestlers period on the planet i recently saw her in a regional match against scorpio sky she tore the house down earned my respect and the respect of everybody in that ladies building. and gentlemen the following contest is a one fall match with a 60 minute time limit it is for the PCW Ultra Women's World Championship. Your official in charge of the action once the bell rings is Mickey Moreno. Introducing first star challenger. She comes to us tonight from St. Paul, Minnesota. She is the queen of strong smile, Rachel Ellery. Great ovation for Rachel Ellery. Her opponent, she is the current reigning and defending PCW Ultra Women's World Champion from Charlotte, North Carolina. She is the undeniable Tessa Blanchard. I couldn't think of a better woman to take this PCW Ultra division. It's brand new. We just started it May the 4th. In her second match, she will defend this crown. And can she cement herself as the PCW Ultra Women's Champion? Blanchard's first title defense against a tough competitor, powerful competitor who was also born and bred into this business in Rachel Ellering. And yes, these two have stepped out of those shadows, but you can't deny that it is a strength as well. And Rachel Ellering, the daughter of the legendary manager, Paul Ellering, who managed the likes of the Legion of Doom. And Ellering, a championship powerlifter, as I mentioned, looks to have the strength, the likes of an animal or hawk. And on the other side, just pure pedigree when it comes to Blanchard, who made history, as you mentioned, overcame Chelsea Green in an incredible match, overcame the hot mess as well. But can she defend the gold? It's one thing winning the title, it's another thing putting it on the line and keeping it. And both Paul and Tully are absolute Hall of Famers in our industry, certified two of the greatest of all time to walk into this business. But make no mistake about it, Tessa Blanchard won that championship in the ring by herself and did it impressively over Chelsea Green, another one of the great women's wrestlers of today. And Rachel Ellering's in for a big challenge here. They both really embody their upcoming as well. The power of Ellering, the technical expertise of the champion Blanchard, who's been making waves all over the globe, including recently 
in Impact Wrestling. Great uh, contingent for Impact in the house tonight, including our main event later on tonight, PCW Ultra Heavyweight title on the line, the Steel Cage, champion Penta El Cerro Miedo defending against Sammy Callahan. Pure hatred between these two, pure respect thus far between champion and challenger in this one. Ellering actually really digging that headlock in, but able to reverse is Tessa Blanchard. Feeling out process, these two competitors, champion and challenger, familiar with one another. They've done battle in the past. And Ellering has been an active competitor, a little bit shorter in duration than the champion Blanchard, but can make up for that in, pow in power to be sure. Nice takedown by Blanchard, looking for the early cover. And you look there, be able to control the head and neck is Tessa Blanchard, and this is what makes her so great. I mean, she understands the wrestling business. She's able to work her opponent. Whoa, there, there's a great reversal by Ellery. Both women just really so impressive. Getting the first of four big title matches here tonight. Can Blanchard hold on to the gold? As we've seen here in PCW Ultra, it can be tough getting that first championship defense. It's a great the, point, Todd. In the first title reign of Pentel Cerro Miedo, lost the title in his first title defense against none other than the whole effort show, Rob Van Dam. A loss that he would overcome later on, successfully defending the title against RVD. Will history be made here in this one? Pace quickens. Nice leg trip there by the champion, quick cover. And the other way, beautiful sweep there by Blanchard, the bridge by the champion, the takedown by Blanchard, back and forth. Great action with the World Women's title on the line and a great respect being shown by the faithful. Yeah, these fans know great wrestling when they see it. They show the respect that these two women have earned. And Tessa Blanchard, I, I spoke with her earlier you know, she mentioned how important this PCW Ultra Women's Champion is. And if you're the first of anything, well, it's first place, you know? Second place is the first place loser, Todd. Sure thing. Well, that's why they lace him up and go to battle. The power on display there, if attempting not, to go upstairs. If you're not first, you're last. Well, it, it, when the title's on the line, that is the case. Here you see the power on display by Ellerine, but again, the prowess of the champion to get out of there. Nothing pretty about that, but effective. And a nice shot there by the challenger. And Blanchard is trying to head for the hills. Tessa needs to recover on the outside. Needs to get her wits here. Rachel Ellering getting some momentum, but beautiful. I absolutely love it. Tessa using that top rope to her advantage and for a cover. And that's, that's the genius of the Blanchards. And specifically Tessa. With the hair hanging from the rope, you can Literally. see. Literally, yes. She, she, she's ripping the hair out of her opponent, using the top rope for an advantage. This is the kind of pro wrestling I grew up with. It's the kind that I like. Tolly Blanchard, of course, used the ring, used all of his surroundings. He had that big slingshot suplex put away countless. And now Tessa Blanchard using the top rope here, just raking the eyes of the challenger. Referee admonishing her for it, but we got a five count to work with. And Tessa talking trash, too. Well, she's yeah. awfully good at that. Oh, right into that middle rope. But she can certainly back it up. Speaking of the champion, nobody home there. Some agility by Ellering. And again, right back to the power game. Out the back door. Ooh. And I'll tell you, the champ is elusive. She is tough to get a hold of. She absolutely is, Todd. There's a reason she's PCW Ultra Women's Champion. In for that cover now. And two only, Todd. And when I think of... All of the wrestlers passed it in the 80s and specifically in the 80s and maybe even into the 90s. It, there's such a toughness associated with pro wrestling that Tessa Blanchard and Rachel Ellering both bring to the table. Almost a variation of an Indian deathlock, and there you see it, that added pressure. Well, I'll tell you, Tolly probably had some wars with Wahoo McDaniel back in the day. And Blanchard, Tessa Blanchard, that is, is such a great student of the game. can truly do it all, and I, I know I keep mentioning the power of Ellering, but you can't sleep on the power of Blanchard either. That's exactly
exactly right. And Tess is certainly a student of the game, but she's become more of a, almost a sensei in her own way with her knowledge of this business and her awareness inside the ring, her IQ to promote herself, to do everything she needs to do. There's a reason she's champion. And with Ellering, she's been so impressive as a power lifter in the past and creating her own reputation for herself. And she's just got a tall task here against the champion. Indeed, and well put, because it's very tough to fight from underneath against the champion. She makes very few mistakes, and she will exploit anything you do. Spinning Ooh. slam, though, by Ellering, Ellering, using her power. Trying to reverse there, trying to torque out and do what she can to, to avoid it. But well, it feels like both competitors really took up the front of the mat on that last maneuver. We mentioned in Impact Wrestling, Tessa Blanchard has faced many of the greats there. And in her time in NXT, Rachel Ellering, not to be outdone, faced the likes of Alexa Bliss, Ember Moon, Liv, Liv Morgan, Sonya Deville. Yeah, and none of them are as good as Tessa Blanchard. Some of the top stars in all of women's wrestling today. And now champion and challenger start to trade, and it might come down to who can dig down deeper. These women challenging each other with strikes. See who's got it. It's getting real, real physical here with the PCW Ultra World Women's title on the line. And now the power of the strikes getting the better of the champion is Ellering starts to go to work, and this is her longest lasting advantage thus far in this championship matchup. Nice flying forearm. And again, doubling up, and the champ is rocked and in trouble, STO. Yeah, big trouble here, Todd. And oh, again with a spinning leg drop. Beautifully done, history to be made. Only a count of two. What yep. a series of moves there, Christian Cole. Ellering out of absolute nowhere comes back, fights back into this match, and impressive. The STO, high impact, followed by very impressive athleticism with the springboard twisting leg drop. But what can she do now? Thinking more power, perhaps? Power bomb, maybe? Out of there is the champion. Boy, Tessa Blanchard, it's like she's underwater the way she can move, but not anymore. She's in deep water right now with the challenger. Ooh. Sent on by Ellering, double hook of the leg. Champ kicks it too, wow. Wow, indeed. We saw that shades of Matt Riddle from earlier tonight. That senton using the rope to speed up her momentum and just dropping that senton all on the torso and solar plexus, taking the breath away from Tessa Blanchard. King of Bros was victorious in his debut. Will the same be said for Rachel Ellery? What a debut that would be, taking home the gold. That's exactly what Blanchard did last time out. If Matt Riddle's the King of Bros, Rachel Ellering could be the King of Go, but she just got hit with a code breaker. Oh my God, she was hung up in that rope, a terrible position to start for Ellering, and she got the worst of it. She loves that face buster. She refers to it as the Magnum. Named, of course, for one of her trainers. There's Tully Blanchard, but she was also trained by the legendary Magnum TA. And that usually does it, and it didn't in this case. And you can see the champion not looking quite as confident, Christian, thinking if the Magnum doesn't do it, what's it gonna take? Off the top now, nobody home. Both women back up though, Todd, look at this. Oh, just power. Just bull rushed the champion, Christian. Grounded pound now from Ellering. We talked about the strikes and strength of Ellering. And she just tosses Tessa. Might just be too much power. Spine buster on delivery, gonna take home the gold. Beautiful cover all the way down over the shoulders, but credit to the champion for finding a way to kick out. Just the effort for that cover can take so much out of you to stretch and bridge like that, putting all the weight down on your opponent. And you're clinching all your muscles, trying to, trying to hold someone down who doesn't want to be held down, who doesn't want to lose her PCW Ultra Women's Championship. Again, big strikes now by the challenger who has really taken over this matchup with pure physicality. Oh, look out, out of nowhere! Beautifully done by the champion, digging That's down it. deep. 
No, it is not, sir. My God. And you can see Tessa frustrated as she just gave an incredible cutter out of absolute nowhere to Rachel Ellering, and it's still Ellering kicking out, displaying how important this PCW Ultra Women's Championship is. The timing was perfect. The impact, no pun intended, was perfect. But look at this. Uncertainty creeping in. Undeniable? Perhaps not. We're going to find out right now if she's unbreakable. She keeps going to high risk, putting herself in jeopardy, putting that championship in jeopardy. It's, it's not often that Tessa Blanchard is at a loss for what to do to put somebody away, and that is what the body language is telling me right now. The champion doesn't seem to have an answer for the power of the challenger. You can see that, that attitude in the eyes of Rachel Ellerman. She said she's doing it for her heart here. Oh! Executes well here. It's a cover, and only two top. What a move there by the challenger. Thought it was going to be a superplex, but put a nice little twist on it, turned it into a sit-out powerbomb, and not enough. You could feel the tension in this room, and that was so close. We almost made history again. Two shows in a row, two women's champions. What would it be like to watch Rachel Ellering walk out with Tessa Blanchard's title? Well, Blanchard might find that out the hard way. More high impact. And now a sense of urgency by the champion. That blood is pumping hard and heavy through the body of Blanchard now. She's seeing red. Oh, the back up off the top. How on earth did she capitalize and hit that? But she did. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still PCW Ultra Women. passion of this great women, women's wrestler, Tessa Blanchard, as she retains her PCW Ultra Women's Championship. And she's feeling the effects, not only physically, Todd, but emotionally. What a night for Tessa Blanchard. What a night indeed. From excruciating to exultation, Blanchard weathered the storm throughout this matchup. At times, it seemed like the champion did not have an answer for the power of Ellering. The first Magnum did not get it done. But she went back to the drawing board all the way off the top, stuck her with another one at Super Magnum and gets the one, two, three. She won the title last time. Successful defense this time. And I might be buying into what you said. You might just be looking at the greatest women's wrestler in the world today in Tessa Blanchard. And honestly, Todd, we gotta give props to Rachel Ellery. What a tough competitor she is. When you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best like that, Prove yourself tonight, Rachel Ellery. You have, you have something to hang your hat on, but tonight is Tessa Blanchard's night. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.